While Niall Brennan is well known as a leading two-year-old consigner, his son Colin is hoping to make a name for himself at the yearling sales. We tagged along with Colin as his bloodstock agency sent its very first horse through the Keeneland September sales ring. Growing up, it's, it's always been a family affair. My mom was a pretty large Florida breeder. So I grew up working with her, but also at my dad's farm doing the two-year-olds and training stuff and going to the two-year-old sales. I learned a lot from both of them and was able to go and work for a ton of different consigners and notable horsemen. I was always doing a couple weanlings to yearlings while also working at, at the farm with my dad. Eventually when, when my son was born, that was the, the ultimate decision to, the, the consignment had grown and done well and started buying more and more weanling to yearlings. I enjoy, I mean, enjoy raising young horses and seeing the changes that they go through and being able to shape them physically and mentally and having an impact on their development. I've, I've always enjoyed that. So long term, I would like to increase the quality. I, I don't want to ever be a, a very large consignment. I would like to keep my numbers well under control and just uh, be able to offer quality over quantity in most cases and just be able to provide people with confidence that we raise and prep a good horse. This is my first Keeneland consignment. At, I think uh, the group that we have actually fit well here in book four. It, it's fun to be here and it's sort of something that's always been on the bucket list. I, of course, I'm biased, but I've prepped most of these on my own and uh, purchased all of them. So you take a lot of pride in them when you're the one doing all the work every day with them and, and being around the barn. And I think they're all quality fillies. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. I had her sister, very scary. So then when I had seen her at the uh, November sale, she was a bit immature and narrow at the time, but looked like she was had the potential to grow into a pretty filly. Overall, she has a super demeanor. She's been showing herself real well. And I think people appreciate her and can't go wrong with Flatter. He's so consistent. Yeah, I've got three in this book and, and oh. three in the next book. Yeah, and she's a pretty filly. You see her go by? Oh yeah, she's stunning. He's a real class act, thank you. Yeah. No, I think she'll be in the 74 to 75 to 100 range. She yeah. Will. She's shown herself really well. We've got a couple bets, but just a real quality filly. All of her betting for us is good. Yeah, thank you. This is this is exciting. It's always on uh, the young consigners to do list to be able to sell at Keeneland, so this is pretty cool. Right now we're in the big leagues. So. <laughs> I'm happy, yeah. I mean, we, we bought her right, and uh, the partners, she progressed well, she's matured well, shown to be a classy filly, and we discussed her price prior to that, and everyone said they'd be happy in that range, and that's the top of our range, so I think we pinpointed where she needed to be, and real happy with the outcome. <laughs>